let's look at how to create a histogram using our studio. To start with, I went ahead and read in some data that's called databank, and I'm going to use this to build my histogram. First, the command we're going to need is hist, H-I-S-T. Our data set is called databank, and when we use the dollar sign, we can see all of our different variables that we can consider. And I'm going to do a histogram for IQ. So I'm going to use IQ. If I run this, I can see my histogram pop up at the right. However, there are some issues with this that we might want to look at. First off, we see the title is just histogram of databank dollar sign IQ. If you don't know what that means, that might not be very helpful. So inside this histogram, we can use a comma and write main equal to, use quotations and title what we want this to be. Let's say we want this to be the histogram of IQ. We do have to make sure that title is between quotations. If I run this, I can now see I've changed the title of my graph. In addition, the bottom, the label on the x-axis still says databank dollar sign IQ. For this, I can use the command xlab, so x label, equal to, once again, I want to put this in quotations, and we'll say IQ of individual. Run this, and we now have our new x-axis label. We can change the y-axis as well using ylab. Maybe we want to write this as number of people. And run that, we can now see our y-axis is changed. Another thing I might want to change is the color. So we can use col equal to. I'll once again use the quotations and let's say we want to change it to blue. When I click run, I can now see my histogram is blue rather than gray. And you can put in almost any color you want there. A couple of other things. We might want to change the limits for the axis. So if we write xlim equal to c and then open our parentheses, we'll type in the smallest value we want to the biggest value. So let's say we want our x-axis to go from 75 to 200. If I run this, we can now see the change in my x-axis. Similarly, we can use ylim equal to c and open parentheses and do the same thing for the y-axis. Let's say we want it to go from 0 to 45. We can now see the new change in the y-axis. One final thing we might want to change is the number of bins we have. So let's say in class equal to, and let's change this number of bins to 15. If I run this, I can now see that I have 15 bars instead of what they had before. And we can change this to any number we like. To get different bars, and to change the number of bins that we have for our histogram. If you would like to see Professor Pierce make more videos like this one, you can support her on Patreon in the link below. Any and all support means a lot to her. It allows her not only to make more videos, but it also allows her to campaign for free and accessible online education to conferences and other universities. Thank you for watching, and remember, math is for everyone.